What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with your boy Thick Whips. Today we are back at CES Motorsport and we're gonna be installing the Armaspeed carbon fiber intakes as well as the Armaspeed carbon fiber radiator cover on a G82 M4. I think it's gonna be a good one. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, guys, we are here with the G82 M4. A friend of ours, Steven, brought in this car at CES Motorsport. If you guys need anything done on BMWs, make sure you hit them up. I'll have them linked down below. Got the beautiful S58 here. And today we're actually installing the Armaspeed carbon fiber intakes, as well as a carbon fiber radiator covered. So yeah, it should look really good. Curious to see how it sounds. We're gonna do the full install here today and kind of show you just a brief overflow of how this goes down but it should be relatively straightforward we got the intake right here stock intake stock intake running across right here and we actually did a similar one on james channel with a i think it was a bms or keys motors or mst intake one of those gonna take off these strut bars of course and yeah we'll let these guys get into it cademan back on the channel to represent I guess they make this for the Supra too. It's very nice. Yeah, it looks, looks really, really, really nice. Engine. Looks very nice. God, these engines are just behemoth. I like this lip he has here too. Looks really good. The Brooklyn Gray. What a great color for these cars. He's also got some pretty cool wheels. These are 20s. Divide Forged makes these 20 inch wheels. These were actually on Anthony's car, AA Concepts, if you guys know him. He sold them to our buddy Steven. And funny story, Steven, who owns this car, works at the car dealership that I bought. I bought my Supra from him, and then I actually sold it back to him. <laughs> it's funny, small world. But um, this car is going to be sent down to Miami in a couple of weeks. It's going to be getting bags, so it will be completely bagged. He's doing a bunch of stuff to it. Looks good. It won't look bad if it's scratched. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. These look pretty good too, and all black. Black cones, black everything, black and carbon. Good combo. And then they also got the radiator cover piece and carbon fiber too. That's what that is. All right, whoa, lots of carbon here. Lots of carbon. So this is all Arma Speed, pretty cool. I'm gonna have all this stuff linked down below for you guys. But this is the radiator cover piece. These are parts of the intake that go on the side. Also, a quick note, yes, if you guys need to learn how to do this, they have all the photos and everything you need for it right here in the installation manual. manual. But getting everything laid out first is priority. We got a couple of cones, covers. Cool, it looks like a really nice kit. Um, first step was pretty obvious. Take off the lower portion of the strut bar and then the top portion right there will come off. Those are just held in by those rubber grommets, right? These get reused. We just keep those in. These are just little pop pins, I would assume. And it looks like there's a C-clip on the lower portion on there. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Oh wow, yeah. It's a nice design. I think that's the side, but it's a good design. Just makes it really easy. Mm, this carbon looks so nice. Bro, this lip sticks out a bunch. It's gonna be an, an ankle biter. Shit. Oh. Got her, C-clip. So the other strut bar is gonna come off because you have to get the engine cover off in order to get the intake out. I mean, if you want to do it the right way. You could probably snake it out, but you don't want to scratch anything. Look at those pumps, baby. It's a two pump chump. Nice. Got the old saxophone out. 
<laughs> kind of looks like a Subaru, except for those two guys right there. Very yeah, similar. Easy. The wastegate? Yeah. Yeah, that's just like the Supra too. It's like the Supra, but two high pressure fuel pumps and two turbos. Let's put one of these in a Supra. Like the GRMN version. It's kind of nice that it hides the, the um, hood cable, the hood latch cable. Well, that part's really easy then. Damn. Fitment looks pretty good. You do have to take off these guys so you can lift this up. Because if you probably didn't take this out and didn't lift this up, you might crack it when you flex it down. You could put this on at home in like two minutes. All right, so he's got the couplers in. The, well, we are pretty much done. So <laughs> I just did all this while I was gone. <laughs> no, it looks really good, man. So this all just clips right back into the factory yeah, positions. So there's the these two right here. It's literally the whole box clips right in there. And then this guy just clips right in to the factory spot. And then you want to do the radiator cover. If you do get it, do the radiator cover last because we actually didn't realize that until we put everything back in. But it looks good. Carbon's sick, man. I bet it's going to sound pretty good too. These are nice. I like how they made these. And then I believe these go, these parts go on top. So they actually like cover up all that stuff, which is kind of cool. So it's just going to be like all carbon. Look really good. If it gets an engine cover, carbon engine cover, it's going to look so good. Damn, that's sick. Imagine carbon fiber engine cover and the carbon fiber strut braces. I think Turner makes carbon fiber strut braces for this car. Pretty sure they do. I'll link them down below if I can find them. Nice. Got it in. Got it in. Oh, that's good. Got an F80 over here. About to get a spicy, spicy tune. Crack the sevens. 709, 679. Vargas turbos, right? Yeah, GC plus. GC plus? Yeah. Graph looks really good too. Man, it's a great curve. And this is the part that I love the most. 3,000 RPM, we're already full spool. Yeah. It's hitting 600 torque. Yeah, it looks um, really good. Great, beautiful curves so far. Um, F80 Paul, right? E90, the GC Plus Vargas turbos, F80 Paul, running meth, port injection, 700 wheel. Just cracked 700 wheel, probably gonna see more. Probably closer to like 750 when they're done. And this dude is just flying over here, man. Yeah, this is, looking, this is gonna look really good. These things are so thick. What a good looking car. These wheels are crazy. Yeah, it looks good. So this, that, that other piece goes right here. Okay. So it's like literally all carbon. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So looks cool the and then this here. just comes through yeah all of this comes with it so there yeah. like there's the box piece right here that's yeah. the wrinkle mm -hmm. the black wrinkle and then the two there. carbon and then the filters that's and then this nice and it's a nice kit man i mean yeah, looking nice at it kit. and like the way it fits and everything it looks that's a nice kit I like it a lot. yep um yeah so this part will go on last and then everything else this looks really good though man this whole kit looks freaking sick it's really nice clean the badging right there. I like it. They like... Damn, look at that. Looks really good. Super easy install. Probably took us a half an hour, hour to do it. But um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So these pieces are all separate from the actual intakes underneath. But as you can see, you got the armor speed intake poking through right there. One filter on that side, one filter on this side, two covers, 
radiator cover, and you're done. What do you think? Pretty easy. Pretty easy. So, and it does look good. So if you guys are interested in buying this, I'll have a link down below. I think they also make some stuff for the B58 as well. So maybe we'll we'll try some of that stuff out in the future. But um, yeah, it looks really good. And if you guys need any of this stuff done, go ahead and hit up CES Motorsport. They do all the performance dyno tuning, installs, whatever you guys need, they can handle it. Big thanks to this guy for bringing his car out for the day, helping us out. Looks really good. Now we're gonna hear what this thing sounds like. All right, now we're gonna go for a little ride. <laughs> S58 is the truth! Wow, that thing, it gets up. I wonder how much power you're making, do you know? Uh, 515, Five with the down pipes. Okay. Yeah, it feels good. That wasn't there before, right? No, definitely not. <laughs> that's like on my car. It sounds like that on my car. It's like crazy induction noise. Here, let's see if we get luck. Yeah, dude, that is loud. <laughs> you like it? Oh yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it sounds really good. Love it. I think it sounds awesome. These things drive so well. Damn, oh god, Great. damn. Five miles an hour. In a 55. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. That sounds really good. <laughs> Crazy. Dude, I love it. This thing drives so well. Now I know what you were saying about the F82. Oh, yeah. And this. Handles totally different. Yeah, it handles really good. So, what suspension is this? Yeah. Don't need much, man. Nothing. Don't need much on these cars. Good tires. You're on, you're on 4S's, right? PS4s, yep. Yeah. Got 295 in the rear and 275 in the front. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'll do her. <laughs> Thanks again, man. I appreciate it.